Howdy, folks. Shabby is back. And he's back to blow up some ptarmigans. Let's blow up some ptarmigans today. A very special, not too shabby stream. I don't know. Maybe we have to find them first. We gotta find them first. All right, we're at the maintenance shed. We're at the maintenance shed. Wait a minute. Hang on. Let's go out here. Let's get some. Let's get a fire going here while I spin a yarn real quick. Are these cooked? These are cooked. Some uncooked over there. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I have to show everyone where we are on the map. We're uh, currently in Broken Railroad at the maintenance shed. We're on the threshold of going over into the far territories. And Shabby still does not have a, a scroll wheel on his mouse. Alright, what's our water? Okay, we got a decent amount. Let's, let's go ahead and get water going. And I'll just throw a throw one of these bad boys in here real quick. There we go. Okay, now. While that's cooking. Where are we? We are in Broken Railroad. We're way over here. In the maintenance shed. And we're about to go over in here. And is there a map for that? Maybe, maybe it won't show up until you get... Maybe you have to get into the far territory territories to to bring up the map I don't know actually I don't know but at any rate we're about to go in um, finish up signal void I think today we're gonna do some kind of hanging hanging here we have done pretty much all the prep that we need to do like you know repairing our stuff making fish cakes we got 19 arrows we're doing pretty good I think I think what I'd like to do is make some um, fire hardened arrows real quick haven't had those in a bit we don't have the knife on us do we yeah it's longer with the knife interesting so the hatchets the fastest okay I didn't I didn't know that I did not realize that Drink right now. Oop. Out of water. 26 minutes, okay. Alright, now, here's a question. Should we make anything here? I think what I'm going to do is get the this syrup, I'm going to get it back to the farmhouse. Because that's where all of our oats. We don't have any other oats other than the farmhouse. So I think getting... And that's where all our peaches are as well, of course. Except for these couple of cans here and there. Uh, but we have like 10 cans of peaches or something crazy like that. Hey, Rootbeard. Welcome in. Welcome in. We're just getting started. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do today to get... You know, to get prepared. Um, there's no Travoy here. <laughs> I think the Travoy that's supposed to be here is actually in at Spence's farm. Nuka! Nuka in the house! Good afternoon, Shabby. want to say thanks for stopping in yesterday and for your help. It's much pre Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You did have about five or six people that all were like, Go to the left! Go to the left! <laughs> so... I was just contributing to that, I guess. Uh, okay, let's make some prepper's pie. I think that would be helpful if we have the fixings for it. Nuka was doing a, what's it called, the wolf? So it's WW, so something wolf, winter wolf. I don't know what the, the two W stand for. But uh, it's a challenge where you kill you kill 100 wolves. How fast can you kill 100 wolves? And Nuka did amazing. And... And I don't know how many days you did it in, Nuka, but it was like... What was it, 18 days? Or I don't know. But it was crazy. 
crazy amount of time. I, I I don't I'm not really much of a speed person, although I should try it. I should try it. it. Might be fun. If you don't have a tool in your inventory, it would show longer crafting time than actual. Oh, okay. Okay, that's why I was really surprised to see that. So that's that's good to know. So the the knife is probably faster. Knife is probably fa Wolf Wrangler. That's it. Wolf Wrangler. So yeah, she uh, Nuka finished it up. Was that yesterday or it's so now the days are bleeding into each other? But um, yeah, I was actually looking to see how many hours it took. It took you about twenty hours, I think. If I'm just looking at the stream times. Uh, to do that, I'm like, wow, 20 hours is quite a... That's like... That's about 20 sessions for me to do this. So, I don't know. I mean, I, if I found... If I had some time, I would definitely try it. Oh, thank you, Nuka. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, got food. We're making some more water. Let's... Um, all right, let's see what we need for prepper's pie. Let's focus, Shabby. Focus. Prepper's pie. And then hopefully we'll make some of this if we can snag some ptarmigans. That's the key. Prepper's pie. Oh, we just need acorn grounds. That's it. Okay, and then we have... So we can make two prepper's pies, looks like. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then, um, okay, so it's almost night. So yeah, we'll just do this, and then we'll, and then in the morning we'll try to see if we can find some ptarmigans. Some unsuspecting ptarmigans are about to meet their maker via a noisemaker. About to meet their noisemaker. How about that? There we go. Thirty-nine minutes. Okay, let's get a. Oh, we have sticks. We got sticks. Did I... You know what? I just realized that I, I've been talking, and I don't know if I actually made the fire-hardened arrows or not. No, I did. I did. Right here they are. Okay, okay. Prepper's pie. Here we go. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's hope Pest shows up soon. For the Tarma grenade moment, yeah. <laughs> I'm really, I'll keep my fingers crossed. I hope fate will intervene and allow, you know, allow pests to experience the... I mean, I don't want to build it up too much, you know, but I think it's going to be glorious. All right, do we have an extra? Oh yeah, my own skillet. Let's see. Let's let's do it. Let's go ahead and get another prepper's pie going. Twenty nine minutes. Okay. We're gonna have coastal fish cakes, prepper's pies, briar house pie. Hopefully, we're gonna be loaded with goodies. All kinds of goodies. If not, we get them all. I'll clip it so Pest can see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope so. Absolutely. I know Pest watches all this stuff, too, after, you know. He, he in fact, uh, well, I don't know if Pest is a, I think Pest is a he. I think, uh, so he DM'd me. So we're, we're good. We're good. We're, he, he's he's okay. He's, he's, he's giving me permission to go ahead and blow him up with or without him. <laughs> so... Here, let's put this back in our inventory before I forget and get a little bit more water going. 35 minutes. Okay, everything's lining up. Everything's lining up nicely. Okay. Well, let's just let's just make sure this doesn't burn. I'll babysit it a little bit. Let's look around though. Hang on. What else we got? We got some little this, little that. Pry bars. I might need to grab an extra flare. Possibly. Oh, we had some here. Okay. 
We can work on some acorn grounds if we wanted to. Nothing wrong with that. I got some matches here. Pretty well stocked up. More acorns. Cattails. Okay. Let's drop some cattails in here. We gotta do it this way because my mouse wheel <laughs> still broken. I was actually gonna wait until it got delivered but uh, before I started playing, but I don't know. It looks like it might be later in the afternoon. Okay. Looking good. Oh, we said we have taters here. We got some taters. We don't have broth. No, we could make some. I'm probably not, you know, I'm just going to tell you, I'm probably not going to make any of these stews. Um, I mean, I might make this one just because of the canned corn. And we only have one canned corn. I don't know. That's more just like, let's just make it just cuz kind of thing, and I don't know if that's worth it. I heard from a friend doing a long run that they are sure acorns have respawned. Okay. Have yet to do a long run to check it. Okay, I will, uh, I'm pretty sure I got all of the, I'm pretty sure I got all of the acorns out of the, um, whatever it's called, transfer pass. So I'll check. If there's more, if there's acorns back, then it's definitely respawned. Because I know... I'm almost 100% sure I got every single acorn out of there. So, we'll see. Okay. Maybe let's do some more fire hard arrows. Before we lose this fire. I guess the fire has to keep going, I suppose. 44 minutes? Uh oh. And it takes. Okay, here we go. 40 minutes. Let's do it real quick. Quick! Hurry! Okay. Alright, we'll just let that burn out. Oh, do we need to do any repairs? Repairs. I think we gotta do. Our gloves. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Something to do. Something to do. Oh boy. Oh boy. Shabby's got something to do. Another chore. Oh. Oh no. No. I was wondering if that was going to happen and it did. It serves me right. Seems you got a buff on the fire anyway where it's cold, which is handy. Yeah. Is it? Oh. Wait. Seems you got a buff on the fire anyway. I don't know what I said. I'm not sure. I, did, I didn't have any respawns in my nearly 700 day run. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll just see. Okay, well, kind of screwed up my repair there. Just wasted a hide. That's too bad. <laughs> Got a ton of food. I probably won't take all of this with me. It's a bit, it's a bit overkill, especially if we make Briar House. Then it's like, then it really is. I know something we can do. Oh, actually, I think this requires... See, I need... I need to use a tool, so I think it still needs daylight to do this. Acorn grounds. Alright, we have two out of four. Okay. So you have... You can't do it until you get four. Okay, I see. Let's just do this. I have, I, I have time to kill, so I have to figure out things to do, such as break down acorns. <laughs> That's one of the things I'm going to have to do. Okay. 
I don't know, let's do it for an hour. Couple hours, two hours. Here we go, let's do it. So you should have had four minutes. I think you had, you have 18 minutes, not much, but it was something. Oh, right, because of the outdoor buff on the fire. That's what you're saying, okay. And I probably should have had enough time to repair that rabbit mitts, maybe? I don't know. It's all right. I was wondering, I'm not sure. This is weird. I don't know if I'm outside or inside right now. I know you don't get, um, I know you don't get um, cabin fever or shabin fever for that matter in this, in this space that we're in right now. But I don't know if you get an outdoor fire buff. You probably should, but I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird space. Um, I was wondering, uh, oh, you're talking to Rootbeard. Okay, not sure if it's going to cause his run was, I'm not sure if, oh, oh, the respawn stuff. But yeah, well, let's just find out. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I think it might be bright enough now to, I don't want to risk it. Let's just wait until the morning before we do anything, before we commit to anything. Um... Oh yeah, we're doing acorns. So I guess that's enough acorning for one night. And just to play it safe, put this on, and then we'll get some sleep. Sleep for nine hours. Here we go. All right. Got a little aurora, sounds like. Just a short one. Okay, first order of business. First order of business is to repair our gloves. Oh. Okay, here we go. Don't fail me now. All right, 91%. I'll take that. That's fine. Right, here comes the wind. All right, all this is fine. This is getting close, but we're, we're okay. Zone of contamination will do some serious damage to these boots, so I usually... I want to find a pair of shoes and trade these out. Leave these at, like, transfer pass or something. And then... Because you will find chemical boots pretty quickly in the zone of contamination. So, I, I don't know. Just depends on how things go. All right. So I think we should go. Let's prepare to go up to the uh, the lodge and look for ptarmigans, unsuspecting ptarmigans. They don't even know what's coming. They have no idea. All right, there's lots of wolves out there. <laughs> lots of wolves in Broken Railroad, turns out. So let's put on that. Let's not play any... Let's not play any games here. I don't think we're going to need any of that food. Yeah, none of this. We don't need any of that. Maybe a coast... No, no. We... I don't want to waste a coast fish cake just running up to the... Lodge. It's not really worth it to me. He'll drop this hammer. Mr. Spelunky's got to go. He's just, we're giving him a rest. It's not like we're abandoning him. He's just taking a little, taking a little rest over here. While well, Shabby goes off on a little adventure. Do we need this? Yes, because we don't have a we don't have a knife. So let's take it just in case. All right, and then and then the rest of these will go in here. I think they'll fit. Did they all fit? Uh, they did. Okay. Okay, yeah, I guess we can drop these too. 
Sorry, we're just sorting stuff out. <laughs> it's a lot of this cut type of stuff in this game. <laughs> just bear with me. Uh, I know that in the bug fix, they solved an issue where some oak trees had the proper amount of acorn spots where they were previously missing. So maybe related to that. Ah, yeah, might be. Might be. Okay. Just about ready to go here. Oh my god, look how small. Just a tiny little little bear bite. We'll call it a bear bite. Throw, throw it in the microwave with some, with some ketchup. The kids love it. Oh, look at all this water. Look at all this water we got. Too much water. Oh, oh wait, wait. Did I find a spot? Oh, look, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> oh, we got to make some rose hip tea, folks. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. Now let's get out here, poke our head out. We're not stinky. Alright, I'm going to spray. I want to keep track of where all my hammers are and where all of my... All of my... Um, Travises are, too. We have several Travises in the world and we want to keep track of those. So we're going to do that via spray paint. <laughs> I probably could paint some other things on here. Materials, storage. I mean, this pretty much has everything. And I really don't need to remind myself what's here, but we'll worry about it later. Uh oh, hang on. Wait. Oh, there we go. I just hit the wrong button. I was like, how the hell do you put this thing away? Okay, let's go. Cautiously. So many damn wolves around here. Okay, I don't hear any crinkly sounds. The pitter patter of wolf feet. Wolf paws. I'm pretty much gonna get into a wolf struggle, aren't I? I think I feel like that's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, that's either a moose or a deer. The moose spawn is right here, so it could be a moose. Oh, no, it's a deer. It's a deer. We could still have the moose, though. Moose is still a possibility. Oh, yeah, I just heard the moose. I just heard it. There he is. There he is. All right, we're going to do moose hunt. <laughs> uh, I want to blow up ptarmigan. Can't have this delay. Oh, man. Professor Niels once painted a ton of walls with graffiti at the prison. That is great. I love that. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, I guess we have to hunt the moose, don't we? I mean, I can't pass up a moose. All right, I guess we're going to shoot this moose and run up this log. I think that's my plan. I think if you shoot it from a, a, a spot where they can't get to, they, they just automatically just run away. Let's just do it here. Oh, pest is here. Okay. All right, we gotta shoot this moose first, though. Ah, shoot. All 
Alright, let's try to get over here. There's a spot over here that you can... Make sure no wolf is gonna... What'd you say, Nuka, the other day? Pretty girl? Is that what it is? Is that what he says for in Jurassic Park? <laughs> Sneaky girl, or something like that. I can't remember. Let's not get blindsided by a wolf. Alright, let me see where a good spot we can... We can drop down right here. Uh-oh. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Clever girl. That's it. Yeah, thank you, Nick. <laughs> All right. We got ourselves a moose. A couple of headshots, looks like. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm just looking at the situation. Let me assess the situation. I mean, this is about as, as exposed of a fire as you can get <laughs> right here. I'll just I'll just have to do it. We'll just have to do it. Oh, so cold. Rubber nosed swamp donkey down. <laughs> uh, swamp fire. donkey. I love it. Hang on, let's see what our okay, there we go. Swamp donkey. Let's get a little piece of meat cooking here. Left my Travoy in Forlorn Muskeg. That's where it's at right now. Here comes the wind, of course. All part of the process. All part of the process. That's the proper Latin name. <laughs> the taxonomy. Swamp. Swamp donkey. All right, 47 minutes. Here we go. All right, we'll see how long this weather holds off. Looks like the wind kind of shifted. And it looks like it's calmed down a little bit. So, hey, this is good. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. All right, still got an hour on that. Okay. Ptarmigans will just have to wait. Okay, here we go. Oh man, the weather's getting better and better. This is great. You got crows out now? Oh boy. I mean, we could get the bear over here. That would be an interesting... I mean, I'd just be overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Uh, let's try to get some more... Um, damn, I want to... I want to get... <laughs> those ptarmigans <laughs> let's just get as much meat as we can that's that's probably the best strategy here three minutes We've got ten kilos on there. All right, here comes the wind. Let's go. That's my cue to go. That's my cue. Let's get out of here. I think there was a small one here, right? No? There it is. Let's just eat that. Eat the rest of that one. 
Okay, let's go. Let's get them ptarmigans. They've been asking for it all this time. Now it's payback time. So yesterday we were talking about finding lost arrows. And by luck I found a random arrow last night, which was from a bear that had despawned because I could, oh wow. Uh, that's awesome. I want I want to have that experience. <laughs> Gotta find my babies. My babies are lost out in the world, and I want to find them. He died before we got to name him. Oh no, you're right. We didn't come up with a good name. It has to start with an A. I mean, it didn't have to, but aren't all the moose with names now all have the have an A? Name Abraham and Al Alexandra Alexandria or something like that, and then Andre the Giant. His name was Maurice. I like that's a good moose name. That's a good moose name. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Does anyone, does I, uh, any y'all know if, if ptarmigan sp can spawn over there? Because I know of two spots here. Alfredo or Alfred? Those are good. Hey, Ruak. Good to see you. We're trying, we're going to blow up some ptarmigans. Let me make sure I have my boom can on me. Okay, we do. All right, we only have one. Of course, you know, I don't think you get a second, second shot. At, a, at throwing a boom can, so. <laughs> so, I'm, like I said, I know two spots here where there's where there can be ptarmigan, so let's just try this. I think one is near this cave, I want to say. Or I might have that wrong. I only know one spot for the snow chickens in Broken Railroad. Chicken, chicken tarmajan, chicken, chicken tarmajan. I'm trying to make that happen, and it's like fetch, you know. I need to stop trying to make that happen. Maybe that's a. Oh, I got it. I got it. It's the tenth recipe. Tenth recipe. Chicken tarmajan. Is, uh, is a, one of the secret recipes you can unlock. It's pretty high level stuff though. I, I, I don't like to talk about it. It's secret. Uh, f okay, so there is one by the lodge. Okay. And two near camp office? Oh, oh, okay. That's, that's a total. That's all the spots that you know. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, that's the one rack. I've checked that one and, and there's no... No tarm no tarmigan parmesan over there. Okay. Yeah, so we could go to the lodge now or we could go. I'm gonna go this way because I know for sure I saw some Tarmigan this way previously and I scared them off. So maybe they're back. I don't know. Oh, the garage, not camp office? Okay, root beard. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. I've already checked. Like I said, whenever I was coming in, I was listening for him. And, and uh, see, because you kind of walk right past them. And I didn't hear them. So I don't think they're there right now. The elusive ptarmigan. Great Bear Fried Ptarmigan. <laughs> now you light you light the boom can with your right with the right with the left click. 
and then you throw it with the left click also, I think. I think that's how it works. I always kind of panic whenever I light it, like, okay, which one do I... Th how do I throw it? <laughs> okay, right here at the end of this bridge is where I've seen them before. Oh, there they are. We got them. We got them. We got him. Oh, baby. You use a controller. Okay, root beard. <laughs> well, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. We could get four, or we could it could blow up in our hands. Either one is possible. Either one is possible. Okay, wait. There's got to be more. There's only two? We only got two. Oh no. So sad. I didn't kill these before. Hmm. Well, we'll just call this. This will be our first experiment. This will be our first experiment. Do you think I can throw it that far? Or should I get closer? Let's wait till they get closer. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, I didn't throw it far enough. No, I got, no, I need to be, I should have read your, your comment Ruach before I threw it. It looked pretty close to me. It really did. I didn't know, I didn't know Astro had such a weak arm. It really didn't. Okay. All right. First ex failed experiment. That's okay. There's going to be some trial and error. Oh yeah, she can throw stones a mile, but boom cans? No, forget about it. Wow. The disappointment is palpable. I can't believe this wolf can't see me. We're armored. No problem. Yeah, I should get way closer. Way, way closer. Okay, now, but now we know. Now we know. I can't see anything. Well, let's put him out of his misery, poor feller. Oh! Missed. Oh, it broke. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Alright, so we have to make some more... Uh, we gotta find some gunpowder now so we can make some noisemakers. Tarbigan blasters. Arm like that, you may need a suicide vest to get this done. I think so. <laughs> just go, yeah, no, just go in, light it, and just run in. Oh, you're right, you're right. And I think I'm almost positive I have the key for it. And I didn't get it last time. I did not get it last time. Let's see, where is it? It's kind of up on the... It's kind of tucked into a corner somewhere. I would drink oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Pretty sure I have the key for this. Maybe I don't. Yeah, no, I do. Okay. Yeah, you get some saplings out of here, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, well, let's, um, so let's head on back. We could, uh, we could finish, we could actually finish with the, uh, we could finish up with the, the moose. 
Oh no, no, I'm so sorry. Ruak, not again, no. I don't know, I need to mess, I need to change my settings on this thing. I, I don't know what, I don't know what to... I'll figure it out, Ruak. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Laszlo got kicked off the other day for doing pr probably something that you were doing. Probably a, uh, I think what happens is the, I don't, I don't have it set where you can do the, you can post clips. Which are built into Twitch, which I don't understand why it won't let you post, why won't you, why it won't let you post clips. But that's why Laszlo got kicked off the other day. A five minute ban. I'm just trying to have some fun here. I'll try to figure out how to change that. Because that's not cool. I want to be able to see that stuff. Or actually, I don't. I don't even know like how what kind of overlay you need to set on OBS to get the to get clips to show up. I need to work on that as well. Maybe I'll send you a DM, Nuka. You can help me. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll just YouTube it at first. That's usually how I fix most things. I just go on YouTube. Five minutes, like twenty percent of the stream. I know. I know. It's such a short stream, and and like you just get. Kicked off for most of it. It's a pretty harsh, pretty harsh sentence. <laughs> well, let's just keep, yeah, we got nice weather. We might as well just keep on harvesting this moose up. And again, like Rootbeer said, maybe, maybe the trader's going to want moose hides to trade for, so I guess we probably should snag this moose hide. Now look, how far can you throw this? Look at that. Was that about how far through the boom can? I don't know. It seemed pretty short though. It was like, it almost like fell at my feet, it felt like. All right, there we go. Tarmagano Reggiano. <laughs> not tonight, though, Pest. Not tonight. We're not. We're not getting any of that. We're just gotta stick with plain old moose steaks. That's it. Three times further than the flashbang. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like. This went nowhere. You gotta really get close. Lassa wants a moose steak. Lassa's off for the moose steaks. Alright, let's try this. Let's throw a stick on. I think that might be... I don't know why I'm being so stingy with my sticks. You like your most. You, you like them scrambled? Dusk, so I can't be okay. Behind. 30 minutes on that. Alright. Go ahead and grab the hide. They were going to get scrambled. We were going to scramble them with the. With a exploding can. Grab a few of those, grab some torches, and then we're gonna head on back. Guess I can grab, I can grab the rest of this here. Let's see, what's our weight? I'll grab a couple more. It doesn't matter, we have tons of food. 
Tons of food. So we'll have every wolf in Broken Railroad on us before we get back. See the bear headed this way. Yeah. I guess we've already killed our large mammal for, for today. I'm going to just... I'll just let that bear go. And we'll get on the way back. <laughs> I have heard of that root beard. I have heard of that. I can't remember the name of the bird, but I do remember that where they would wear wear a, like a sheet over your over your head. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to carry yeah. this load for much longer. Yeah, Ruak, sorry about that, man. So sorry. I gotta figure out how to I gotta figure it I gotta figure that out. I can't have people getting banned for you know contributing to the to the fun. Adding to the fun of the stream, that's no good. No wolves, what the heck? Where are all the, what the hell? I just now realized, like, I mean, we did kill the one wolf when we came in and that's it. Okay. More raw meat. We got all kind, all, all meat represented, all animals represented except for ptarmigan. And we had a chance, and Shabby blew it. That bum arm, you know. Rest is, rest of the meat is cooked. Let's take it over here. Okay. Then we'll put our moose hide here. I guess we probably could store these deer hides and whatnot. I like to have it displayed out here. It's nice. There we go. Okay, and then we'll leave our saplings. We got so many saplings. Saplings for days. Huh. Okay. Um. Dang, I'm not sure what to do right now. Oops, just throw a torch out of frustration. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. All right, dare I do anything that... needs light or not, I'm not sure. Yeah, Lazlo got. Yeah, I was just mentioning Lazlo got banned, <laughs> probably for the same thing. Posting a clip, I spent five whole minutes without making a snark comment. <laughs> uh, everyone here is so nice. Maybe it's because the moose was up. They that they ain't about. Oh, the wolves. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe you're right. Sleep so we can scramble some birds. Okay. All right, hang on. We got a couple of chores we got to do real quick. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to be able to because I don't have any more boom cans. We only had the one. I need to find some gunpowder now. I don't... Let me look inside. Let's go... Hang on, let's just see if we got gunpowder anywhere. I don't think we do. Definitely not out here. This is my two 
storage drawers here, and that's no dice. Let's look in here real quick, and then we'll sleep. Missed opportunity by us to bully Lazlo during the timeout. <laughs> this some, some spray paint. Okay. Got to watch out for these surprise auroras. Let's run past these wires real quick. Scares me. Yeah, no. Actually, there's sometimes this. You might see some like. Uh, whatever you call it, the the fertilizer, whatever that stuff is. Sometimes you'll see it back in here. I think. More spray paint. Okay. Oh, here it is. But dusting sulfur. Okay, yeah. But you you need a ammunition workbench to be able to craft any gunpowder. Unfortunately, let's go ahead and we'll just bring it up to the front here with us. I'm gonna look over here real quick. Got some metal there on that bucket. I mean, we'll probably see some in. We'll probably see some gunpowder in Forsaken Airfield. I bet. Battery. Okay. Yeah, stump remover and charcoal. Yeah, yeah. But we. The main thing is the ammunition workbench. That's what's really gonna stifle our boom cam production <laughs> unless we can find some real like gunpowder then we'll be then we'll be good to go I bet there's spray paint in forsaken airfield I'm not gonna worry about it um, okay all right we're gonna sleep and then in the morning we will start We'll start making our way to finish up Signal Void. Okay, let's do it. Oh, oh, Pest, you were like, get, get food poisoning on purpose so we can just sleep? <laughs> I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I know that's a strategy. I think you can get, like, so if you eat, I guess you probably could eat, like, one of these. I think you were joking anyways, because you were saying mushy as, as opposed to sushi, I think. But I think if you eat raw venison, you can get food poisoning, but not get parasites. Because I think if you eat one of these, or, or one of these, then you'll get both maybe parasites and food poisoning i want to say i might be wrong about that though i know me too i want bird bombs we have to, we're gonna to have to go to i think forsaken airfield is going to deliver on that i think it's going to deliver i'm optimistic let's let the sun come up no Maglin's morning for us. Sleep another hour. Okay. All right, now let's let the gear sorting begin in earnest here. Um, also want to keep. I also want to have a mental note of what we have here. We have five saplings I do I probably will need a bow when I come back I think this bow is gonna make it 40% I don't know let's just not do we'll just keep an eye on it I think we'll be okay though I wonder if I can drop any of this gear all right let's pick all this up all these goodies 
Seven. Ooh, it's stacked all the way. This is great. Once they all have the same condition, I guess they all just stack together. That's great. All right, I'm going to leave a couple of prepper's pies here. We'll have them on the way back. No briar house, though, unfortunately. I guess we should put them over here at the food. Let's put them over here. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right, do we need to take anything? I'm gonna just, we'll just take meat. We'll just take meat. All right, three steaks. Need some water. Okay. All right, we got our food. We got our water. This is looking fine. Seven pieces of coal. That's sure that's okay. It's a little less than what I usually carry, but that's okay. Need some more rose hip teas. Clothes are good. Food, again, we're we're fine on food. Probably could drop some crackers. A couple boxes of crackers. Not that they weigh a whole lot, but still. Someday we'll have a mouse wheel that works. Someday. Alright, we might want to grab a blue flare. Okay. I don't think we're going to need those. Okay. Alright. Let's begin the journey. Okay. I guess we're going without flour. It's it's okay. Okay. Let's go. Off we go. To Forsaken Airfield! Oh, the sprint we got. We're off to see the blizzard? Yes. The wonderful blizzard of... Zaz? Zox? Zox? I don't know. I was thinking, I was trying to get Z-O-C in there, but... Is it just me or are there no wolves? What the hell? So strange. This is usually wolf central. Yes, Rudiger is the wizard. You're right, Rootbeard. Yes, that's that fits. That fits perfectly. Bedroll check. Random bedroll check. Had to do it. Can't resist. Got some water in there. See? I uh, probably should have had some more cloth now that I think about it. Might have been a good idea. Do I, if I don't warm up soon.
Cannot trust that Rudiger. Oh man, we're already on an hour. No! FA is covered in tarps, it is. There's car there's tarps everywhere. Tarps everywhere. Even in the even in the cabins. Well, let's get to the let's try to get over to the the transfer pass. We'll stop there for today. We got we got sidetracked with the moose. I blame the moose. It's all the moose's fault. The swamp donkey. Damn swamp donkey. <laughs> I don't know why we're not warm enough in here, but we're not. Oh, did I forget my... Oh, no, no. Mr. Spelunky's with us. Our trusted companion. Blame Laszlo? Okay. Man, what is the temp in here? Negative seven, okay. Wow. That'll do, Swamp Donkey. That'll do. That's what I always say if I'm making barbecue when, when you rest the pork shoulder or something like that. It's gotta be pork. Because I always like, whenever I, whenever it's in the resting phase, I always say, I sort of lovingly pat it and say, that'll do, pig. That'll do. It's a little barbecue humor for you folks. I'll throw, throw that in for extra. Okay. This is, what do we call this guy? Uh, uh, Carl? Box Carl? I think it was Box Carl. That was it. <laughs> I had, just for you folks that might not know, we, uh, early in the stream, I was, or early on this run, I was, started to name all the, I don't know. I decided to name all the corpses, but we, we didn't get very far. I think we named three and then we stopped. <laughs> so. Okay, now we're warming up. time is it? Okay, it's early in the day. Okay. Let's pop in here and see if there's... I don't think there's anything in here, but you never know. Now I'm looking for gunpowder, so... That's ordinarily, that might be something I might just leave. And so... It doesn't hurt to just take a peek every now and then, just to see. Pry bar. Let's just take it. There's so many pry bars in this little area here. So if you need a pry bar, you come on this way. Come on over this way. Sounds like we got a blizzard out here. No, it's just windy. That's all. Okay. All right. Sometimes there's. Something you get a little lone wolf situation here. No, that's a deer. Okay. Okay, no wolf this time. Okay. Well, when you're not looting it, this goes a little bit quicker. But it is a pretty long walk.
All right. Oop. Well, let's go ahead and eat a little bit. Don't I have a small piece? Do I not have a small piece? No, I don't. Okay. Now I do. <laughs> that's all my goal was, just to have a small piece in there. That's that's what the aim was. You can get a little tiny bit of coal in here. Apparently a lot of sticks, too. But coal is... Yeah. Here we go. Here's a couple pieces right here. Guess we can go ahead and light this. I'm actually, I mean, this run has definitely changed my whole perspective on lanterns. I, I was, and I guess they're especially useful for these long runs too, because just the match conservation is, it's pretty helpful. It's pretty, pretty good in that regard. It's guilt-free light, which, you know, I, I usually, you know, I used to, back in the day, old Chabby used to really like his light mixed with some guilt, you know, but now this is guilt-free light. I'm just getting used to it. It just takes a while to get used to that. Uh, not using much great. You don't have to wait for a sunny day to navigate a ca cave. Exactly. Yep. You're a hardcore lantern enjoyer. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting into it. I'm getting into it. I think it was all about the name. You know, once we named this lantern Mr. Spelunky, it really kind of changed everything for me. It really turned It really turned everything around. <laughs> That's a beautiful root beard. I wish you could add color filters to the lanterns. That'd be nice if you could find a, a little piece of film, you know, like some transparent or whatever, semi-transparent film to put around the lantern. That'd be nice. Some mood lighting. Always important. Gotta warm up somehow. Okay, so there's one. There, there's a possibility for another wolf right here, but after that, then we're home free. Oh, <laughs> I remember dropping these wolf stakes, but I just don't even remember. I don't even remember why I dropped. I mean, I must have just obviously was just too heavy. It's so cold. <laughs> That's fine. I love it when you find stuff like that from your, you know, your past visits to a place. It's always fun. Okay, I'm not seeing any wolf around. It should be coming this way because we're pretty stinky. Oh, look out, there's a log. <laughs> Poke holes in black paper to make constellations on your ceiling.
I mean, if we're allowed to do like base building stuff, that would be fun. Add constellations to your ceiling in the camp office. So nice. I was looking out for future shabby, absolutely. You gotta pay it forward, can't forget that part. That's that's important too. I guess we'll just leave these in here. Um, really just need to warm up. Maybe drop some sticks. We got a lot of sticks on us. Alright. Now let's just warm up and then we'll keep on keeping on. We're gonna... Let's see, I don't need to sleep. No, no, no. No, no, no. This is past time. Here we go. Alright, oh, and the wind stopped? How nice. How nice is that? Oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> that didn't stop. What am I talking about? It really did sound like it stopped. It really did. Alright, is there any... Ugh, oh, any chorn we can do? Probably not. If we don't look at it, it doesn't exist? Yes, that's that's a good strategy. I like that strategy. I mean, there's really nothing to do, folks. Maybe sharpen our axe a little bit. We could probably prep some some of these. Let's do that. Let's do that for... Wait, I can't do it? Wait a minute. Oh, oh, because the multiple of eight. Okay, I got it. I see. I see. Find some place to... Find some place crazy to put the wolf stakes to really confuse the hell out of future shabby. <laughs> what the hell was I thinking? Oh, see you, Ruak. Take care. Good night. See you next time. Um, what now? What now? I could do some, I mean, I'd like to do some repairs, but we just don't have the tools or the metal to do it, so that's unfortunate. Let's just, let's just sharpen this axe for a little bit. Oh. <laughs> hey, La Makia. Good to see you. Well, the good news is I, I can't, so, unless you count sharpening. Can't do any repairs, unfortunately. So we got we got to just sit here and. Um, I guess we'll pass time since we're we're so close, and it's getting dark. So we're gonna time this just right with our. It is like magic. Oh no. Keep on rolling, huh? Oh, okay. Uh. Middle of the night. All right, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Think of it as ruining a whetstone, not repairing a tool. <laughs> it's all about perspective, man. Okay. 
We just gotta get through this little spot right here. But again, I don't think there's a wolf around because it would have would have come a calling earlier. All these creaking sounds and stuff. It's a fragile, it's a fragile, fragile place, love my Kia. Be careful. The lighting in here is a little weird. It gets a little weird in here. It's all got this weird purple look to it. Mental stability? <laughs> Looking for coal. I did. I think I found one piece of coal in here last time. I'm so cold. I'm so I didn't even know you could find coal in here. I saw someone do it the other, or er, at one point, and then I started looking, and I found a piece of coal. I mean, hey, every little bit counts. Kind of hard to see with the glare a little bit. Eyes da darting back and forth. Shabby's eyes are darting back and forth, scanning. Like a crazy person. I'm losing my mental shability. I got an acute case of shabbing fever. It's starting to break down. Coal is life. That's right. That's right, root beer. I wonder if we have deer, uh, any deer that have spawned in. Remember? This was ancient, ancient times. This was probably, I don't know, day 60 or something, but I remember we were trying to get some deer down here at the transfer pass and we couldn't find any. So I am curious to see if there are no deer again on this visit. If there are deer, then we're gonna we're gonna hunt them before we leave. Cause I definitely want to have some food here at this at this uh, depot. All right, I guess we can we can hustle. We can use our little tiny four steps of sprint that we have <laughs> to really speed up the process. Oh, yeah, and Peter's as well. That's right. Otherwise known as chicken tarmesan. We're going to try to make some chicken tarmesan if we can. The tenth recipe. The ultra super secret recipe. Chef Shabby made it. Jeff Shabby's secret chicken tarmesan recipe. I could eat a horse. Let's see him lock, because I love horses. Oh, 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 oh. 
Alright, I don't know if Nuka's around here, but we're gonna check the oak trees here and see. Requires level level six cooking skill? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Nuka was wondering if these had respawned. I'm going to check these real quick. Man, I'm just ha I'm having deja vu right now for some reason. So weird. Um, her, fa her father was a five-star Florida ship. Wait a minute. Oh, you haven't... Oh, you haven't lived until you have my wife's chicken... Parm. Oh, nice. I was. I had that mixed in with pest comment. She ate a donkey, and it was really confusing me. Yeah, if you grow up with a a parent that's a five star chef, you uh, yeah, you're gonna know how to cook. That's for sure. Yeah, it looks like no respawn on the acorns. Just on based on that. You know, those few trees that we just checked, but... Probably because you've been in the re this region before. I mean, you'd have to- you'd have to be in a region to- to, like, loot it first anyways. Or something like that. Or maybe I'm misunderstanding what you're saying, Rootbeard. She ate a donkey and chicken parm. Perfectly hilarious. <laughs> Alright. I do like the zone quite a bit. I like it a lot better if there were deer in it. But I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna actually, before I call it quits, I am gonna poke my head over the hill here just to see. This is my sort of my the spot where I usually see them is over the over the over this road. So let's just peek and then and then we'll call it call it a day here. Schroed Schrodinger's respawn. It only happens if yeah, that's true. If you haven't been there. <laughs> Uh, that's good. I love it. That is exactly how it works. That's exactly how Schrodinger, Schrodinger's theory went. Okay. I guess we don't have to do anything. We're just warming up. That's all. Let's warm up for just a smidge. Oop. Oh my god. There we go. Boom. Warming up. Warming up. Let's go outside. Man, it is very dark out here. Okay. Yeah, I'm just hearing the creaking of the trees, but nothing. No mammals about. That's too bad. That is too bad. Okay. Oh, look out. Just slammed my face in the door. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna just just take a peek and see what we have here just so I know what the situation is. I think there's just no food is the main issue here. <laughs> a smattering of things. Okay, we have plenty of fuel at least. Okay, well, I'm glad I brought some extra food with me. Okay, folks, um, let's go ahead and get a little safe spot here. I'll just sleep for an hour just to save it. Alright folks, uh, a lot of people in today, I'm not going to name everyone off, but I really appreciate y'all popping in, hanging out with Shabby, and joining me on the journey. Always appreciate it. Always appreciate the laughs, too. Oh, oh, the deja vu. I'm just reading your comment, Rubier. Deja vu. Okay, alright. 
Context is everything. It's everything. Um, it's just, it's hard to, sometimes it's hard to respond, like be like real time with chat. Cause you look away and your brain starts to go somewhere else. And then you read another comment and then you kind of lose all context. So my apologies. I'm still, I'm still, uh, trying to improve my chat reading skills as we go along. Nuka. Hey, no, it's all right. We checked, uh, we checked for you. There's no respawn on the oak trees. Unfortunately, we did have a little, uh, little slight case of deja vu though. So uh, that's what you missed. Um, okay, folks. Thanks, Pest. Okay, everybody, take it shabby. We'll see you next time. Should we raid somebody? Is anyone playing right now? I didn't, I didn't notice anyone. Um, I didn't notice anybody. Let's raid Paralupal. I like her. Okay, we're going to raid Paralupal. I'm throwing an extra syllable in there, I think. But anyways, all right, folks. Again... Everybody, take it shabby. We'll see you next time, whenever that might, might be.